Well, hello there, beautiful. Welcome back to Grim Fandango Remastered. And I think I had another brainwave. So I was thinking this over because I was very frustrated with the results of last uh, last episode. Where are you going, Manny? Okay, fine. I'll just, I'll just click and tell you where to go. Down there. Thank you. Okay. So I was thinking about all of this and thinking through the different areas and trying to remember if there was anything um, much like uh, I got I got on this train of thought because I was thinking about the puzzle back um, at the edge of the world uh, inside the safe in the vault when there were objects that initially I kept thinking I was supposed to be using um, but that weren't actually useful until later and it reminded me that the last time we were here, there was this cabinet that Toto told us is where he keeps his liquid nitrogen, which uh, he said helps helps make the um, the hurt. scrimshaw hurt less. And the reason that uh, Naranja was having to drink so heavily was because he was out. He hadn't gone over and gotten more from Membrillo, the coroner. Shot your is this ringing a bell? Maybe. I hope so. Anyway, I thought I'd come over and look at that. It is a hot spot. Now, this uh, this might might be another disappointment along the lines it. of trying to give him some of the coffin shooters. I really hope not. All right, let's find out. Oh, not my fault. Oh, this is looking promising. Hey. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? I get am, you somewhere where you're I not looking at anything artist. else. Liquid nitrogen, not to be used on <laughs> bone. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Well, I guess his methods are a little dubious, but uh, he gets the job done. And you know what's great about liquid nitrogen? It's really, really cold. I'm gonna try it out. Nice. All right. Hey, good idea. I bet Thanks. I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across mm. first, okay? We need to be real careful with this whole situation. Where are you going, Manny? Soon to be known as the blown wagon. Hey, no. That's not funny. Thank you, Glottis. I am right there with you. That is not funny. I'd rather defuse the bomb first. Okay. Fiendish. Well, here goes nothing. Oh boy. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Looks like Hector's taken over the whole town. Wow. He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. Oh, hi, fringes of the city. Places like this, you mean? I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Ha. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who... Manuel Calavera, we ah. meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown. And right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab. About to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. <laughs> It was a trap. Oh. Stand back. There's only one thing to do. Oh. <gasps> Yikes. Thank you, sir. You have saved me. But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement. Wow. What did you say about a trap? Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab. No. Oh. 
So the way to save someone from being sprouted if they... Your new lab assistant is a spy! Haven't you ever heard of a background check? No time to explain. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. I've longed to be of service to your cause for oh, years. Oh, you are such a liar. You never even heard of him before I told you about him. I was Salvador's friend before you. Now he's gonna leave me here and take you with him and... She gets to have all the fun. Salvador's look. Yeah, I'm with you, Gladys. I'm also a little suspicious about that whole situation. Gladys and I, we, we see eye to eye on a lot of this things. Part from sprouting. Not everything. But we both know a funky situation when we see one. What am I holding? Oh, okay. I took his arm. I wonder how that soldier's getting by without this arm. Not right now. Okay. Any messages for me? No. Nope. Call stopped <laughs> coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Hey. Any messages for me? Oh, nope. I guess that's Call it. stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still <laughs> sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Look. Oh, it's one of our little. Who's the plant nut? That nut is Hector Lamont's personal munitions expert, Bowsley, a.k.a. the florist. That was his job in the old world, but here he is a botanical weapons expert. This has left him fairly conflicted. Why does he make Sproutella for Hector instead of our side? We've been trying to recruit him for years, but his lab is in Hector's tower. He's untouchable. Hmm. Hmm. I remember what Membrio told us about florists in the Land of the Dead, that they go insane. I wonder if this is little Manny. Come here, little Manny. Ow! Hey. <laughs> Must be <been> little Mechi. <laughs> oh, she's still in here, you know. She's like right there. She can hear you. Ooh, trash. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. Go ahead and take that. Since... Calling all cars. Calling all cars. <laughs> Manuel, is everything okay? Uh, oh. uh, just testing the equipment, Sal. Salvador, maybe you should shut that thing off so we can talk. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ooh, look, paperwork. Memo to all agents. Priority urgent. In light of the recent disappearances, all agents are ordered to avoid travel in unlit areas until further notice. Avoid travel in unlit areas, huh? Okay. <laughs> hey, Eva finally got that radio working. High-tech surveillance equipment they have here in the sewer. Okay, I feel like I've looked around pretty well. So let's, uh, how are you doing, Meche? How are you holding up? I take Meche to all the best places. She's a good sport. Okay, here's the plan. I need a disguise so I can get close to Hector. And a gun, so we'll have something to talk about when I get there. If you figure out that part, I'll go find out where he is. His casino tower is directly above these headquarters. Oh, well that was easy. Alright, meet me there. Volunteers quickly for dangerous work. She could be very useful to the cause. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause. <laughs> yeah. Ava's not buying it. There we go. Hey, Gladys. We are in a weird place. What we got over here? Oh, we're in the sewer. Right, there. right, she said that. Ooh, never mind. Ooh. Go back to sleep, whatever you are. Oh, he's pretending to drive again. I like it when he does that. It means he's happy. Not right now. Huh? 
sure is lovely in the sewer. Oops. I'm gonna go up there. Here we go. Thank you. Oh, I need to keep telling you to go up the ladder. All right. All right. I'll play along. <laughs> I'll play your little game, Manny. <laughs> Ooh, casino. But she's in there. I have to find a costume. I have to find a disguise. So that I can get close to Hector without him recognizing me. Up, up, up the ladder. Oh, hello. H how, are, how are you guys doing? It's not like Johnny Thunderlet's just anybody in his review. No. I mean, being allowed to wear the Johnny Thunder makeup is an honor. Yes. Got it. A privilege. Yes. So I said to her, you give me that 10% discount or I'm taking my business elsewhere. You said that? Well, oh yes, I was mad, you know. And then, here's the good part. No kidding. Oh, I wanted to hear the good part. Man. Who are you calling little? What? I didn't call anyone little. What? I'm confused. Okay. Yes, I am. Oh, that's too bad. Because we just got the last two parts. Maybe next season. I feel like I missed something <laughs> in that conversation. Yeah. Hey, get lost, pal. Hey, get lost, pal. No autographs. Wow, okay. Well, I guess that's all I can get from them. Oh, all right. Good times. What is up here? What is this? This snowmaker is huge. Oh, I can the make part snow. Handheld. Hey. Aha, uh -huh. it's a handheld grinder. All right, I got a grinder. This snowmaker is huge. What did you? And the director says. And so then the director said. You do say. Of course, as soon as I save up enough money for a double end ticket, I'm out of here. Ah. What? You can't just buy a double end. Well, I know somebody who knows somebody who knows. Uh, Wow, you know everybody. <laughs> hey, out of the dressing room. We got all the Thunder Boys we need. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to have to figure out how to get some of that makeup on me. Ooh, that looked like something I should be able to look at. Mm, show business coffee. Yeah. yeah. Little too hot for my pockets, thank you. <laughs> I tried to put it away. <laughs> Um, they're drinking coffee. Do I have anything too hot I can... for my pockets? Oh, Maybe you. I can no pour them some more. Oh, coffee, great! About time we got a PA around here. Hey, kid, keep it black and keep it coming, all right? You got so it, sir. You... Anything you need, as long as I can figure out a way to, uh... Hmm. <laughs> take your... take your job. You don't say. Let's see. I don't have anything that I could put in there yet, do I? Uh, I can... I... Sure, let's try. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Okay. Again, I appreciate it when, when uh, I don't know if it's that I think of something they did or they thought of something that I do. Either way, um, I like that. I like it when it's not just the, the pat standard. I, I can't use that here. Gives it a little extra touch. All right, well, let's, let's try. We're going to be very subtle and quiet. Got to figure out some way to disguise this pretty face before I hit the streets. Okay, that's what I thought. That seemed, that seemed more 
in alignment with what people have been saying to me. I'll put it that way. Oh. Yes, all right. Come on down. Oh. Hey, I was just... I thought I was uh, just being my usual somewhat... How about this one? Anyone down here? Ooh. Monsters? Again? <laughs> Can anyone hear me besides the scary monster? Dang. I guess not. Go to sleep, sewer thing. <laughs> Close your big clear blind eyes. I get the feeling I'm gonna have to do something about that monster. Maybe put it to sleep or something. Hmm. Oh, I can't even talk to him. He's uh he's fully out of commission. <laughs> Alright, what do we have so far? We've got a bony arm. A grinder. I guess I could make like bone meal or something. Ugh. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. It's a handheld grinder. I wonder how that soldier's getting by without this arm. I wonder if now that we've gone and looked around a little bit, if Ava might be able to help. Got any messages any for me? Any messages for me? <laughs> Dang nope. it. Call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Hector, I almost have that new bouquet of tulips ready for you. Listen to me once and for all, Bowlesley. You are not a florist! You are a manufacturer of weapons! But I... Poor florist. This camera's showing nothing but flowers. Must be another fallen agent. Mm. Bet if I could get that plant lover out of there, I could talk him into making a gun for me instead. That's true. Okay, so we have to get him out of there, huh? Sounds like... part of... The plan is to disguise Memo. ourselves. To all agents, priority urgent. In light of the recent disappearances, all agents are ordered to avoid travel in unlit areas mm. until further notice. The rest of them has gone to seed already. Yeah. That happens fast. Hmm. Up here? No, that's this. Okay, good to know. Weird. It looks like these used to have covers on them. Well, what the heck? Why don't we try uh, grinding some bone meal into the coffee? Let's see what happens, shall we? I like the little grinding icon. That's good. I don't think we to use it with anything, though. Hmm. Hmm. Well, 
I'm going to make this a short episode tonight. As you might be able to hear, my voice is just a little bit croaky. Um, I'm a little bit sick right now, but I really wanted to record because I had that idea about the liquid nitrogen. Um, I'm really glad that it paid off because uh, we're off and running again. I also put up a, um, a portfolio um, video today, which has some of my art. If you're interested in that side of my channel, there's some more of that going up. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, wrap things up here since uh, we've got plenty of stuff to explore when I have a little bit more energy and my voice is in a little bit better shape. But I definitely want to thank you, as always, so much for watching. It's been really fun playing along with you in the future. Um, still looking for the next Let's Clay. We'll see if we get another one out of this game, too. Might might be plenty, but um, that about wraps things up for this episode with just enough time left for me to say, ciao for now!